Hopefully you did just fine on those four problems. Now let's go down below to what to do if it's not just a number being squared, but what if it's a quantity being squared? Moments ago, I told you that the steps are going to be essentially the same. We're going to make sure that the part that's being squared is isolated. So in this case, in this first problem, that x minus 3, that quantity, is already isolated. So now I can take the square root on both sides. So we take the square root of the left-hand side. And remember, the purpose of doing that is because a square root is what will undo something being squared. So that we're left with just x minus 3. Because we're still solving an equation and there's still that imbalance line, whatever I do on the left-hand side, I also need to do on the right-hand side. Because the right-hand side does not have a variable, we have to have that plus or minus. We'll take the square root of 5. So we have plus or minus, and the square root of 5 goes into our calculator. <clears throat> square root of 5 is 2.24. And now these problems will have one extra step. We'll need to add 3. To both sides so that we end up with x is equal to 3 plus or minus 224. Now because that's a problem we can actually do, we need to do that and get the two answers that are involved. So that when I add 3 plus 2.24, I get my first zero or my first root of 5.24. But I also need to do subtraction. 3 minus 2.24. It's going to give me 0 0.76. So my two solutions are no longer going to be the exact same number they're going to be a little bit different. Let's work through one more together. Divide both sides so we get that part being squared isolated. So we now have x plus 2 squared is equal to 5. Take the square root of both sides. Coincidentally, we just did the square root of 5. And then our last step is to get x all by itself. So x is equal to negative 2 plus and minus 2.24. So my two possible x values come from adding and subtracting. When I do the addition, I get 24 cents. When I do the subtraction, I get negative 4.24. And those are my two solutions. Again, you've got two problems to give a try.
Give them a try, come back and check your work. So here are these four problems, and I hope you did just fine on them. Now there's one more situation that we need to talk about. This last situation is what if there's an x squared on both sides? 